Thanks so much. Doing a holiday challenge. Goal is to drop a holiday until the end of the year. You can check out. I drop clips on my shorts tab. I drop YouTube shorts, so you can go to my YouTube shorts tab to check out what I made today. And you can also click the link in my description to go to my Spotify, my YouTube, my Apple Music to hear what I made. I dropped the 110 songs last year. So link in the description if you want to hear everything I made last year. 310 songs last year. Link in the description. The next pack will be out this coming Friday. It's coming Friday. I'll post a link in my community tab, and that's how. And that's how I'll post it. MSNBC. But that news network is wild. You know, sometimes it's like you wonder what's going on um, with, with politics in the US. It seems quite divided. It is divided. But sometimes it's like who do you listen to? One person saying this, the other person saying this. Both sides are calling each other evil. But To stuff like Donald Trump and um, how the more conservative types, Republican types, are painted. I definitely think there's a there's an agenda on the on the liberal media side to castigate and demonize. I guess their political opponents. In any way possible, in order to get people to view them in a very particular way, it's quite dishonest. And you know, like like the, the, the use of the words Nazi or racist; those words mean nothing anymore because they're used so often for in cases that, where they don't apply. But when you call someone a Nazi these days, it means nothing. When you call someone a racist, it means nothing. That used to mean something back in the day. These days, not so much. These days it's like, oh, 
fucking racist. It's like, oh, who oh, is racist? It's like, oh, like, it's almost like a compliment. <laughs> That's not how watered down the word has become. Someone gets called a racist, you're like, it's, it's almost code for like, this person speaking the truth about some t- subject, probably. <laughs> Every time someone gets called a racist, it's because they said something inconvenient to some narrative that's been spun around. Or they just did something inconsequential, and someone just thought it was racist when it wasn't. It's kind of crazy. And with Donald, with, with Uncle Trump, as they call him now. <laughs> Some people call him Uncle Trump, which is funny. Um, I like Donald Trump, guys. I think he's cool. That guy's hilarious. Give him a chance, man. All you people that think he's the devil, he's... he's I think it was Charlemagne the God that called him the, the anti... <laughs> Charlemagne the God called him the Antichrist. So dramatic. It's kind of gay. Calm down. He's not the Antichrist. Overreacting like that. So dramatic. Um, um, <laughs> Antichrist. It's funny. I was watching a video of like Trump was giving some speech somewhere. This guy is funny, man. And he's like making fun of Joe Biden or, or any of his opponents. The, the way he cracks his jokes, I'm telling you, he's like a stand, stand-up comedian. He's very entertaining stuff. I like him. I think he's cool. I think he's effective, that's what's more important, I think he's effective. And the media always takes his words out of context, like, like the, this new thing they're doing now with like, Trump said he's gonna be a dictator, oh my god, oh my god, and, and Whoopi Goldberg was freaking out, you know Whoopi Goldberg? The, 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 the one from Sister Act and all these other movies and now she's on The View causing trouble. Her and her cackling hands, that's what they call them, they call them the cackling hands. Um, causing a fuss all the time. Anyway, Whoopi Goldberg, was, Whoopi Goldberg was freaking out saying he's gonna deport all of us out of the country. And it's like, I, even citizens, even citizens, he's just, he's just gonna kick random citizens out of the country. I don't know how that works. God, it doesn't even make sense. But he, what he said was, uh, he was joking, by the way, and that's the thing you're not allowed to do now, because people will take you very seriously, but anyway, if you take him, you have to take what he said in context, so I think someone asked him, like, oh, what are you going to do? Um, oh, no, 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 I don't know, Sean Hannity, who asked him, people keep calling you a dictator, are you a dictator, dude? Here and now, just set the record straight so that people can relax and just tell them you're not a dictator. So Trump, <laughs> instead of saying, like, I'm not going to be a dictator, Trump was like, I'll only be a dictator on day one. <laughs> and he was like, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the border, I'm going to seal the border, and then I'm going to drill, baby, drill. So he's talking about extracting natural resources from the, from the earth. So that's what he was referring to. So then... The, the media takes the first part, I'm only going to be a dictator on day one, and they say, then he's going he's gonna to kick people out of the country, he's going to execute people, all this nonsense. I'm like, what? They're so dishonest. And the audience falls for it, because the audience never does. They don't listen to anyone else. It's like, oh, I, I listen, I don't, like, listen to MSNBC, like, I don't watch them daily, but, you know, I'll... I'll, I'll watch interviews here and there, clips, so I can hear what the other side is saying at the very least. And you know, it's just information flows around, you can see different types of information from different people. There are people out there who only ever consume the, like that. They just consume them as NPC. Imagine. And so then that's... Everything they tell you, that's what you believe, and it's like lies. It's not true. Um, they say that the only people that support Uncle Trump are like um, <laughs> evangelical Christians, like white evangelical Christians, and these racists and 
America belongs to them and Trump promised to give them back America. That's why they always vote for It's like all this lie, all these lies. That never happened, by the way. Trump never said that, that no deal was made with white evangelical Christians. It's, it's, it's insane. But it's also funny because it's like, it's, it's something out of a novel, bro. The way, <laughs> the way they, honestly, the way they paint Trump out to be this like absolute monster, it's so, it's so hilarious, dude. And people genuinely believe it and they, they have nightmares at night. Trump, no! Trump, no! Trump, no! <laughs> like Donald Trump is gonna come and get you. It's like, come on. People, you're being had. You're being duped. The, me the mainstream media is corrupt. It's absolutely corrupt. Trump isn't only popular amongst white people. There are a lot of black folks that are coming. Have you seen the amount of rappers that have been coming out saying we're voting for Trump? Benny the Butcher, Meek Mill, obviously, you know, Kodak Black. Yeah, Lil Pump. Yeah, you know Lil Pump. Um, a lot of them, actually. A lot of them. Some, some of them I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh, obviously, Lil Wayne and, and, and names like that. But there's, a, there's quite a few. Uh, 50 Cent said something about Trump as well. Um, and the, the, the general consensus, there's someone else, there's someone else. I think it was Money Bag. No, it wasn't Money Bag, yet, but it was someone else. But they're, they're, they're saying, um, oh, YG. YG was like, uh, what did he say? He said something about how if you go to the hood, if you go to the, you know, the ghetto, and you ask them, who are you voting for? A lot of them say Trump. So this mainstream media lie. That is only white evangelical Christians that are voting for Trump. It's such a, such a damn lie. Hispanics are voting for Trump. Because there's a growing amount of people in general. Outside the US, Trump is, is popular. They, hold on. Outside the US, Trump is popular. This guy on CNN was just lying. He was saying that, oh, I've traveled outside of the country and whenever I go to other countries, people are like scared that Trump is going to become president again and the world is watching saying, how can they elect this guy to be president again? It's such a fucking lie. I'm from South Africa. I can tell you right now, there are a lot of people here that like Donald Trump. A lot. It's such a lie. I'm black. I don't know if you noticed. I'm an African. I'm an African. I'm not white. I'm not Caucasian. I really like Trump. So these people keep lying. And they they bank on their viewers not verifying anything they say. <laughs> and living in that bubble. Trump is not the Antichrist. It's just such a hilarious life. Um, so yeah, you know, I think he's a, he's a great president and I'm looking forward to him winning. By every metric possible, he's going to win. None, no one in his own party can beat him. Excuse the noise outside, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. Some construction. No one in his own party is going to beat him. So Nikki Haley is the last one left. And she's, she, yeah, she, unless she pulls off some magic trick, which is not going to happen, all the polls indicate that she's far away from beating Trump. So he's going to be the Republican nominee. And then, what's his competition? Joe Biden. He's blowing Joe Biden out of the water. If you look at the polls, Joe Biden is very unpopular right now. They have no one. Who are they going to, like, they've removed a lot of the... So the Democrats, what they've been doing, I've, I've talked about this before. They've been removing, it's actually insane what they've been doing. They've been removing other Democrat nominees, I mean, candidates from ballots, so that you can't vote for them. So Colorado, uh, there was another state where they did that. Colorado and, uh, I think there was a few states actually where they removed Democrat candidates from the ballots so that the only person one could you actually don't vote because then there's no one except Biden. So Biden just becomes the de facto nominee. Even though no one voted for him, which is corrupt. So Democrats don't really have an option except Joe Biden. So if that's who they want to go up against Trump, 
is going to lose in the elections. He's going to lose by a lot. And then Kamala Harris is even less popular than Joe Biden in the poll. So, so it's like, I mean, not in the poll, but like, yeah, yeah, they, they, they take polls to gauge uh, these politicians' uh, popularity of the public. And yeah, she's worse than Joe Biden but somehow, which is, that's hard to do, to be worse than Joe Biden. It's hard. It's difficult, but she manages to do that somehow. So if she went up against Trump, oh my God, she'd get trounced. So then, you know, the speculation that they might swap Biden out with like a Michelle Obama or a Gavin Newsom. I don't know if they're legally allowed to do that. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if there's a way for them to do that just swap out a sitting president with another person and well i mean obviously if he can't run because he's old and decrepit and he can't put sentences together his health is not in great shape so, they might have no choice but to solve him up but then doesn't kamala harris become the isn't she, isn't she next in line that's why I'm thinking they can't afford to remove Biden because Kamala Harris is worse than Biden. He'll do, she'll do even worse against Trump. And, and she's, she's not, she's very dumb. She's a dumb bum. I know you're not allowed to say that because she's a woman. Like, you're not allowed to criticize. You never criticize women. Like you never. Like it's not allowed. If she's a woman, you're supposed to pretend. But she's a dumb dumb. She's retarded. And she will do far worse than Biden against Trump. Um, so, we'll see. I think their only option is Nikki Haley, because a lot of Democrats are voting for Nikki Haley. Like they're registering as independent or something to register in order to vote for Nikki Haley. Because they're like, it's better than Trump. But it's not helping. The gap is too big. I think some Democrats voted for Nikki Haley in the Iowa caucus and she still lost. She, she still came third place. She's still behind Ron DeSantis. Um, but yeah, I think that the lost vote for the establishment is Nikki Haley to, to the well, actually. They have to get rid of Trump first. They, they, if, if Trump is in the race, there's no way Nikki Haley can win. So if they, if they can throw him in jail and disqualify him from being voted for somehow, that will help them. Or if they can, you know, get rid of him that way, then yeah, Nikki Haley can be the next president. But then they still Vivek. I think Vivek, people vote for Vivek Ramaswamy instead. To re-enter the race. I think we'll see what happens. But there's some backups. But yeah, Trump isn't this demon, bro. People need to wake up and realize that he's not. He's not hated around the world as much as people think. A lot of people actually like Donald Trump. They think he's funny. They think he's cool. Some people don't even understand English. So they don't even know what's going on in the U.S. Obviously, you know, the news reports, some of these, but yeah, people have their own lives in their own countries. So like, sometimes they're not even aware of what the fuck is going on in the U.S. But for those of us who are, like, I follow U.S. politics very closely because it's very entertaining and fascinating. We have corruption this side. But it's like, it's just depressing. <laughs> it's not something you want to learn about. It's, it's gotten so bad that, you know, it's like, fuck. It's, like, it's not even funny anymore. It's never been funny, but it's just depressing. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, this is not something I want to follow. Whereas US politics, something about it, man, it's got some pizzazz. Just going to keep reading and... Funny man, 
the way they spin these stories online without any shame. I mean, they act like the victims and the and so you say, they're fighting for democracy. Trump is what is it? Trump is a, a threat to democracy. <laughs> these all these crazy hyperbolic phrases and, and words to describe this man calling him Hitler and this and that and saying he's like Mussolini and all those sorts of things like that. Wow. Wow. My first choice is Vivek, but he got he didn't get enough votes to justify him staying in the race in the Iowa caucus, so he, he dropped out of the race. That was my first choice. But now now that he's out, Trump's left and I think Trump's a great option. They got a great bench. Trump, Vivek, Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is third place is a bit he's quite establishment like He's quite ingrained in the establishment, but you know, I think he's got morals. I think he's one of the rare politicians in this this uh, establishment swamp that seems to have some morals. So if he became president, I think, yeah, these guys aren't as bad as people think. The mainstream lies, lies, and lies. Gets people hysterical. Oh my god, oh my god, threat to democracy. He's gonna, he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. It's like, like, have you looked at anything else besides MSNBC and CNN and ABC and C what, what is it, CBS? No, it's not CBS, whatever. NB, there are a lot of them. It's acronyms. Oh, this thing. And all for the shit. Some research. It's not that deep. I used to be in that camp. Stringing like Donald Trump. What the fuck, Donald Trump? Like when I was in high school, and a bit after that, I was like, Donald Trump's a dick. My mom was a Trump supporter for a long. She's been a Trump supporter for a long time, and I was like, Mom, what the fuck? You're not even American. What are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, I just didn't get it. And I was like, I can't believe my mom's a Trump supporter. Oh my god. My mom is woke. She's she 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 caught onto a lot of this stuff from early. She was like Fox CNN because we also have CNN this side. No well we we CNN is broadcasted, broadcasted to us from across the world. So it's not that we have our own CNN here, but we watch American CNN. We used to watch American CNN. But my mom was like, fuck this channel. This channel's trash. These people keep lying. And I was like, yo, this woman was crazy. What are you talking about? She was a Trump supporter. I'm like, why? What's going on with my mom? But as time went on, and I became privy to more and more information, I was like, yo, my mom might be onto something. This Trump guy is the truth. So funny, dude. You should watch his speeches. Watch him give a speech. This guy is funny. I'm telling you, you laugh. At the even if you disagree with everything he says, I think you laugh. I think you have a good laugh. He's funny, man. It's like you, you've never seen a president like that. He just doesn't care. He just says whatever, man. He doesn't care. He speaks his mind. It's so refreshing because politicians are usually fake as fuck. This guy is just like, I don't care. <laughs> I'll say whatever I want. Do you know how many times he says, I know I'm not supposed to say this, but, and then he says something he's not supposed to say, because it's like, it's like, the politicians don't do that, but then he just says, and it's outlandish and crazy, and it's like, it's so refreshing. Let me get out of here. Got shit to do. Actually, yeah, I got shit to do.
Dear God, thank you for this individual watching this right now. Thank you for making them whole and unique and guiding them on a path towards peace and prosperity and purpose, purpose, purpose. Thank you for blessing this individual with wonderful people in the life who love them and take care of them and bring the best out of them. And that you're maintaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. And thank you that you've blessed this person with the spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in their life. And through giving thanks can find peace and contentment and attract even more blessings. Let your presence be felt in this individual's life so that they can know that you're God, that you're real, that you're there taking care of them and loving them. And yeah, good health, long life, and happiness over this individual. And you're going to check out. In my name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray.